This is one of the world's largest arms fairs. And after months of warnings about artificial intelligence as an existential threat, it's no surprise it's a phrase on everyone's lips. But to the Pentagon's new AI chief, it's also very misunderstood. It's not this singular technology where if we have AI, we're going to be successful, and if the other guys have AI, we're going to be in, we're going to be in danger. It's neither, it's neither a panacea nor a Pandora's box. There is not an AI system deployed in the modern world that doesn't take data from the past, build a model from it, and use it to predict the future. So the moment the world is different, that model is no longer maximally effective. And in the fog of war, that might not make AI much use at all. Yet stroll around this event, it's everywhere. Weapons are increasingly autonomous, the volumes of data from satellites and drones overwhelming. And that's where AI can pop up. See, that is suspicious. Arms firms tout AI as the tool to give commanders the edge. How far away is it that we have an AI of some form making life and death decisions on behalf of the US and the military? Well, if I have my way, we won't. There should always be a commander that makes those decisions. There will always be, not there should be, there will always be commander's decision-making that, that deploys these systems. All very reassuring, but China is investing in military applications of AI. Russia had an early start. It is inconceivable to me there is not some kind of arms race going on at the moment. I think an arms race is, is too strong. If there's a race, it's about a particular impact that we want to have or a particular impact that an adversary might want to have. The nuclear arms race metaphor really was monolithic. You either know how to do this, in which case you've uh, unleashed a Promethean fire, or you don't know how to do it. It's not that way at all. But at home, the Pentagon's under pressure from Congress to get to grips with AI. It's launched a new program to evaluate the tools, but warns models are useless without good data. A mass amount of, of, of uncurated, unlabeled, noisy data just becomes noise. I do think we're going to see some really cool new capabilities from, from the AI that's been released lately, but it's not going to be effective unless we get that data right. Engage target. The Pentagon may be dismissive of AI hype, but that doesn't mean access to machine intelligence won't define supremacy in future and change the way wars are fought and won. Tom Clark, Sky News.